Hi there. This video is about a leak detector board that I made to detect water inside an ROV or any place else you want to detect water or any other liquid that has uh, some resistance to it. So this PCB I etched out of FR4 copper clad using the toner transfer method and the muriatic acid and uh, hydrogen peroxide solution and as you can see it looks pretty good there's a little bit of toner smeared on the uh, on the FR4 when I removed it with acetone but that can't be helped in this case so this circuit is pretty simple it's got a uh, two rails there's a top rail and a bottom rail and their fingers go in between each of them and uh, the top rail here is connected to ground via a 100,000 ohm resistor and the bottom rail is connected to signal to an Arduino input pin via no resistor but it is connected to 5 volts it's a pull up resistor here of 100,000 ohms as well so if there's no resistance no connection across these lines this signal the green uh, green and white pair wire is uh, going to be at 5 volts but if there's any type of resistance across this at all, then this ground line and the signal line will be connected. But this current limiting resistor will make sure that there's not a short circuit of some sort. So this actually works just with a, somebody's hand. Here it's connected to an Arduino with a just a simple sketch running to check. There's 5 volts ground and signal coming in on analog pin 0. So if I just even touch this board, you can see there's resistance that will detect that. And, uh, and on the computer screen, you can see there's 1023, that's the 5 volts equivalent on Arduino. And then here when I touch it, it's going down to about 750, 7 something. Maybe closer to 700, can't really tell. But it's going down below uh, the regular 1023. Now here's a glass of regular tap water. Just uh, standard, no filtered or anything like that. So I'm just going to take a drop of it. Let's see if I can get a drop. Just drop it on the board and you can see it lit up. And I mean, it, obviously, if you do another drop, it's not going to, but there you go. And even if you try and dry this off somehow, even if there's just a very light coating, well, that actually made it worse. But anyway, it, det it detects it a very fine uh, resolution of, it only has to touch across two, any two of those traces, a tiny drop of water and it'll set off the sensor, it'll set off the light, or a buzzer, or whatever else uh, you want it to control. Thanks.